Hey, yo, check this out. This is Mr. Cab Cabernet, lifestyle connoisseur. And if you don't believe me, ask the jacket. Custom made, crushed grapes lifestyle jacket designed by yours truly. And uh, as you know, it's a uh, Cabernet season. I got a question for all you brothers out there, all the men. Ask yourself this question. Are you a nice guy? And do you know the difference between being a nice guy and being a kind man? There is a difference. Let's talk about it. These are confessions of a lifestyle connoisseur. 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 I'm pretty sure you never felt this kind of rule. So, we've all heard the saying, you know, nice guys finish last. And um, the reason why that's a saying is because there's a lot of truth to that. The reason why nice guys finish last is because being nice, being nice is not a benefit to a man, to a masculine man. Being nice is being easy, okay? Easy going, easy to um, manipulate, easy to get over on, easy to uh, convince. Men are not supposed to be easy. We're supposed to be kind. See? Kindness is not being a nice guy. Uh, being a kind man is about having good morals, being respectful, being a decent man. Um, that includes, you know, being kind to women, being kind to children, kind to animals, kind to, just kind to people. When you meet someone, you're supposed to give them respect until they give you a reason not to give them any respect or to disrespect them. See, we've been taught a lot of words and we don't really know the meaning or we change the meaning over time or what have you to fit our narrative and our understanding. And um, a lot of people throw these terms around, you know, respect is earned, you know, no. Respect is not earned. Respect is given. Disrespect is earned. You respect people until they give you a reason not to respect them anymore. You don't just meet somebody and make them earn your respect. That takes time. <laughs> you might not meet this person ever again. You just disrespected them because they ain't earned your respect. That's the, that makes you an asshole. Um... That makes you disrespectful. No. You respect people until they give you a reason not to. That's being kind. Um, but once they give you a reason not to respect them anymore and you continue to respect them, that means you're being nice. You see the difference? Now you're easy. Now you're... You're, you're allowing a certain type of treatment and behavior because you're being nice. No, be kind, show respect, show decency, show manners. Good manners is a sign of kindness, not niceness. Nice guys do finish last, not just with women, because women need a masculine man, a feminine woman needs a masculine man to be stern, not nice. He needs to be stern, but kind. He needs to stand for something while being kind while showing manners, while showing professionalism, while showing uh, dignity, self-respect. Um, all these attributes, you know, kindness is part of an attribute of a, of, a, of a good man. Not being nice, a nice guy. Nice guys settle for things. They 
they're just easy. It's it's an easy going attitude. You know what I'm saying? Which makes you susceptible to all types of manipulation. Again, not just from women, but people in general. If you're a nice guy out in the workforce um, where there's competition or out in the world in general, men, we understand life is full of competition. So we can't be nice if we want to win because you will get you will get eaten up. There's an also another saying, you know, don't take my kindness for weakness, right? So a lot of people will take your kindness for weakness. They'll mistake your kindness for niceness. Niceness is weakness in a man. That's why that term is so real. It's a fine line, but it's a real line. You know what I'm saying? And you need to make sure that people don't cross your line. You hold your masculine frame. On one side is niceness, and on the other side is kindness. And that's where the masculine side is. Women are supposed to be nice. That's a feminine thing. Easy going. Um, friendly. You know what I'm saying? more feminine trait and that's a powerful thing for women women that tap into their divine femininity understand the power of being nice it gets them further um, but men men don't get too far being nice they end up last in all points of life with women with business with everything men and women in general need to know right they need to know that the other side of your kindness there's a danger there if, if they take your kindness for weakness so you're not supposed to be nice there needs to be a healthy fear or a healthy danger in any masculine man that is kind right and uh other people need to know if they take your kindness for weakness you know there are repercussions for that um you're going to cease being kind whether sooner or later and um you're going to be held accountable for you crossing that line it is important for a man to be strong and kind Okay. Do not mistake kindness for niceness. Uh, don't, don't don't mistake uh, kindness for weakness. Don't mistake being nice for um, just to be accepted by anyone. Don't settle for be, uh, negative or bad behaviors in your pursuit to be nice. No, be kind. Show kindness. Be genuine. And um, let people know that your kindness, your kindness is dependent on their reciprocity of your kindness. You're not going to be kind while they're being disrespectful or taking your kindness for weakness. Kind. This is Mr. Cab Cabernet, lifestyle connoisseur. And once again, these are confessions of a lifestyle connoisseur. 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 I'm pretty sure you never felt this kind of.